Hello students, I am back with the new chapter safety and first aid. We are going to discuss question and answers from this particular chapter which is chapter number 3 from your textbook. So let us start. The first question is tick the correct answers. Let us read out the question. If you get cut by a dirty or rusted object you may get the options are a fracture a sprain, rabies, tetanus. What is the correct answer? Right. Tetanus is a correct answer. Let us see next question. The rabies virus is carried by options are cockroaches, hens, dogs, rabbits. What do you think is the correct answer? Your guess is right. The correct answer is dogs. The third question, for putting out a fire caused by a petrol, we should switch off the electricity supply, turn off the gas supply, throw water on it, throw lots of sand on it. So if there is a fire which is caused by the petrol, what would you do? Well, the correct answer for this question is throw lots of sand on it. So. The D is a correct answer. Let us move on to the next question. The next question is nail polish, naphthalene balls and paints may contain options are sugar, salt, poison and juice. What is the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is poison. So nail polish, naphthalene ball and paints have a poison in them. So we should stay away from this particular materials. Let us see fill in the blanks. So in fill in the blanks the first question is when the skin is cut by a rusted object the injection one must take is called a dash injection. The correct answer is anti tetanus. Second question dash causes swelling and sometimes discoloration of the skin. The correct answer is sprain causes swelling and discoloration of the skin. Third question, an easily available object like sheets of newspaper or a pillow can be used as dash to give support to a broken bone. The answer is splint. An easily available object like sheets of newspaper or pillow can be used as splint to give support to a broken bone. Fourth question, if a fire is caused by an electrical gadget, do not throw dash on it. What is the correct answer? Water. If fire is caused by an electrical gadget, do not throw water on it. Fifth question. Destroy all dash which have crossed their expiry dates. What is the correct answer? Destroy all medicines which have crossed their expiry dates. So if you have the medicines which have crossed expiry dates in your home, please destroy it. Now, the next question is write short answers. First question, what is tourniquet? The answer to this question is tourniquet is a bandage tightly tied over the wound to stop bleeding. Second question, which article could be used as a splint in case of a fracture? The answer to this question is an easily available article like sheets of newspaper, magazines, piece of cardboard or a pillow could be used as a splint. Let us see third question. What is sling? The answer to this question is a sling is made from a triangular piece of a cloth which is used for support. Name the disease caused by a virus carried by dogs and cats. Rabies is caused by a virus carried by dogs and cats. Okay, so rabies is name of the disease which is caused by a virus carried by dogs and cats. Let us see next question. The fifth question is when someone's clothes catch fire, we must not let him run around in panic. Why? The answer to this question is if a person's clothes catches fire, we must not allow him to run around in panic because this fans the flames. Okay, so the fire increases. Okay, it fans the flames. 
and that's why we must not allow him to run around now the long answers so the first question in that is what first aid should be given in case of minor wound well you have to write wash away all dirt around the wound clean the affected area with cotton wool soaked in an antiseptic lotion place a thick pad of cotton wool or sterile gauge on the wound and press it with your thumb and fingers this stops the bleeding a tunicate can be used this is a bandage tightly tied over the wound to stop bleeding okay so this is the way of using a tunicate okay how would you help someone with a bleeding nose the answer to this question is keep the patient upright in a comfortable position with his head held back press the bleeding side of the nose firmly keep an ice pack or a wet cloth on the nose and the head of the patient ask the patient to breathe through his mouth and not blow his nose a little bit of bleeding from the nose is harmless but if bleeding is heavy send the patient to the doctor so this is how the first it is given in case of bleeding nose third question what is splint how and why should it be used a splint is used to give support to the broken bone and try to avoid unnecessary movement an easily available article like sheets of newspaper magazines piece of cardboard or pillow could be used as a splint this prevents the movement and helps the broken bone to heal then comes the next question we must not prick blisters why so the answer to this question is sometimes the skin gets severely burned and blisters are formed we should never try to prick a blister why because an open blister is a open wound it can catch infection so to avoid infection we must not prick the blisters fifth question how will you put out a fire caused by defective wiring you have to write the answer in this way if fire has been caused by a defective wiring on an electric gadget do not throw water on it this can cause electrocution so immediately turn off the main switch smother the fire by throwing sand or else use a fire extinguisher sixth question what first aid should be given in case of animal bite well wash the wound with soap and water to remove germs as a virus which cause rabies or hydrophobia may be carried in the saliva of an infected animal dogs wolves bats and cats are known to carry the rabies virus apply an antiseptic lotion to prevent infection bandage the wound with a sterile gauge and rush the victim to a doctor so this is how we give a first aid to a person who is um, who has faced an animal bite well that was all from my side i hope this will be helpful for you in solving the exercise of the lesson safety and first aid i will be discussing in the next session the question and answers from the new chapter until then take care bye bye